this next item is for an exciting project and it's one that I actually have to start immediately. Uh, it's a time sensitive thing and I have used up my grace period of time on it. And this is a two inch bar of 6061 aluminum. And that is for my next project, the lathe and milling project. I'm sure most of you that follow me or have subscribed to me or also subscribe to John Saunders NYCNC. And he is working on a project, the Johnny Five Robot, which was the star of the movie Short Circuit. And he's building a full-size operating replica of that robot. And what he has done is turned it into a collaborative effort. And individuals are making parts for it. And I was able to get a part uh, to make. And... I say I, I've got to get it done now because I've, I've run out of time. I've got to get it shipped out by the end of next week. So I'll be working on this project and there'll be a video to follow it. I'd actually, he had an announcement on one of his videos and he put up a list of parts that were available and you could check off which ones you wanted to build. And so I did, and it was a fairly simple part because I'm manual machinist here. I don't do CNC, obviously. And I got a letter back from him the next day that it was already done and that that campaign was closed out and that he would let me know. Within a week, I got another email and he offered up a part for me to build. And he sent a... Fusion 360 file for it. Now, I actually uploaded the free copy of Fusion 360 last summer. And I played around with it a little bit, but I really haven't done anything. So I opened it up, and I loaded the item into it. And I worked on it for a while, and it soon became apparent that I needed help. Uh, there were no dimensions listed. It wasn't a drawing that I would expect. It was a 3D rendering of the project. So what I did is I called my friend Randy Richard, Randy Richard in the shop, and he gave me a hand. And within 15 minutes, he sent me a measured drawing of the part that I have to do and I'll, I'll show you a close-up of that part now. So here is the drawing that Randy put together for me and it's got all the dimensions and it's going to have some interesting setups because it's a simple disc three quarters of an inch thick an inch and a half in diameter but there are features on both sides which are both uh, centered off of a center line so I'm gonna have to be able to I've got to do the features on one side turn it over and repeat the center line so that I can do the features on the other side and keep everything in the correct relationship so it's gonna be some interesting uh, machining so stay tuned for that video well, if you've hung in there with me so far, I'm going to be making up some copper shim, jaw shims for my Atlas lathe, the new Shars vise that I just put on it. And I'm making them out of three quarter inch copper plumbing pipe. This is the, the raw piece and I cut it and then I shape it to fit over the jaws. So stay with me 
and watch me make these copper jaws.
Uh, this video has gone on a lot longer than I expected it to, but it's been fun. I've enjoyed opening the mail. I hope you've enjoyed going along on the journey with me. But before I close out, I just want to remind you that if you're interested in information on the Prison Ground Stones, email me. I'll put my email address at the bottom of the screen right down here. And I'll also include it in the description. And if you're interested in stickers or a sticker swap, same email address. I'd be happy to mail the stickers out anywhere in the world. So at this point, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.